Well, you want me to wait here all night, do you? You were due back to 10.37. I've got an home to go to, you know. Listen, mate, don't you start. Blimey, I've had a belly full, mate. I'm not joking. Every Saturday night it's the same, ain't it? Football crowd and pub nights. Yes, yes. We know all about your moaning butler. We all have to put up with these Saturday night louts, you know. Oh, what are you talking about? You have to put up with what? You stay here safe while we battle our way back home again. Another thing, we don't need any more of these posters on these buses late at night. Is, they, is that bikini bit that gets the hooligans going? Well, what did they want to do the likes of that for, for God's sake? Well, they wanted to see what was underneath, didn't they? <laughs> well, why don't you get out and stop them, then? I did. That's when I copped this lot. <laughs> well, they tried to find out what you had on underneath today. <laughs> tried to defrock you. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a very exposed position when you're getting out of that cab, mate. Very vulnerable. Here you are. Look at that. Yes, we'll put in a claim for it then. Right. Hey. What? Where's your windscreen wiper gone? They nicked it. <laughs> Good God in heaven. Whatever did they intend to do with that? Well, look at my pocket and I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, I'll have to make out a report about this now, mate. Oh. <laughs> What's up with you then? Oh, blimey. What a journey. That's the worst yet. Oh, you stuck on the ticket up there, Papa Dorsey. What's all that then? I didn't stuff them up there. One of the passengers did it when I had the nerve to ask for this fare. It's a good job my ticket machine was fastened round my neck or he'd have stuffed that up there as well. You should have given a good punch on the nose, mate. I couldn't, cos he was sharpening his razor on me strap. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a runny awful all night. Look what they wrote on the bus. Queen's Park Rangers are a lot of... A lot of what? The other words on the back of the bus. <laughs> That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'd better get that washed off before the clip is seen. It's too late, mate. Here they come, look. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that, love. It's uh, just written there by some ignorant lout. Yeah, you're right, mate. They don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of little bits there, nice Aye, aye, aye. Come back, you two. What? I've got to make out a report about this. Yeah. Better get that washed off right away. Don't worry about washing that off, mate, I tell you. He wanted to wash that off. Oh. What's that? It's only a hand, isn't it? Yeah, you haven't seen what's attached to it. <laughs> Go on, Stan. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's a naked woman. You've got an amazing memory. <laughs> Open them doors quick. I like that, Jack. I wish we could fold our woman up like that and put them away. <laughs> well, this is absolutely disgusting. There must have been a violent knot you had on here. You must be joking, mate. I tell you what, we need protection. This is quite right. We're not taking any more buses out after nine o'clock on a Saturday night, are we, Jack? No. Well, you've been briefed what to do. The slightest sign of trouble, go to the nearest telephone box and get the police. I didn't have to, mate. They got it for me. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to stay and make out a full report with me. Oh, blimey, that'll take hours. I'm supposed to pick up the fish and chips. They're waiting for them at home. That's all right, mate. That's your pigeon. Anyway, you had trouble on the bus, right? Yeah. What you needed was a show of authority on that bus, mate. You need me. You needed me on that bus. <laughs> oh, blimey. I must say one thing. We might get a load of scum on a Saturday night, but we never get any inspectors. <laughs> Oh, here he is at last. About time too, I'm famished. Ah. Oh, Stan, you're an hour late. Are you all right, love? Yeah, of course I am. Well, where the devil have you been then? We've been running to death, haven't we, Arthur? Not particularly. <laughs> Stan, where are the fish and chips? I couldn't get them. I was too late. You? Why? Because I had a punch up with some hooligans, that's why. There you are. I told you something had happened when he didn't come in with the supper. We were worried to death. Yeah, didn't know whether to phone the police or open a tin of corned beef. <laughs> Thank you very much. They were a load of hooligans. A rough mob, I'm telling you. Oh, don't give me that. You've been delayed through mucking around with them clippies again. <laughs> clippies? Look at this, mate. They're scratches, boy. I'll tell you something here, Mum. Watch this. <laughs> Do you think the clip did that? 
but he'd never know you're lucky. He gets terrible. Look at his trousers. Yeah, what are we going to eat? Well, they're all torn, his trousers at the back. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. They should put real men on those last buses. I mean, there's only one way to deal with a mob, mate, and that is to face them. I did. Judging by the tear in your trousers, we can all tell which way you were facing. You know you want an umbrella, love. You can do a lot of danger with an umbrella. <laughs> Very good for defending yourself. Yeah, Mum always used to make, make me carry one so as I could defend my honour. <laughs> did she ever use it? Only when it rained. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something. Something's got to be done. Do you know what, Mum? One bloke got hold of my head and he bashed it up against the bus. Well, I can tell you something, mate. He certainly wouldn't have done that to me. He couldn't. You've got nothing there to grab hold of. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that going thin on top is a sign of male virility. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> yeah, well, you do need certain other requirements. Well, I think it's dreadful. My stand might have been hurt. Thanks, Mum. You are right. Well, they've got to do something. Yeah. We can't live on your sick pay. <laughs> a lot of hooligans. Yeah, well, there's a lot of violence about nowadays, my Well, fi- if you ask me, it's the pill that's causing it. <laughs> what a lot of rock you two talk. Oh, blimey, man, that's daft. Well, no. If it wasn't for the pill, half these lights would be at home changing nappies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I still think your bus company should do something about it. What? About the pill? No, about it. I mean, we can't have this every Saturday night, never knowing whether or not we're going to get our fish and chips. Don't you worry, Arthur. Union's taking it up. They're doing something about it, mate, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's a joke. Your union can't even protect you from the government. Well, if they don't, we'll all come out on unofficial strike. Oh, Stan, you can't do that. Why? Well, Barbara Castle might come along and take our furniture away. <laughs> Charming family, aren't I? Well, I expect something to be done about it. Well, I'm sorry, loves. It's corned beef and cocoa. Go on, love, have the tin. Oh, let's forget the corned beef. Let's just have some cocoa. No food? Oh, Arthur, I shall need something to put me to sleep. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps you're right. Better open the corned beef for me. <laughs> I'm going to clean it, Jack. On second thought, you'll get the tea, mate. Hello, darlings. I see you've kept us a couple of seats, eh? How's it going in love, all right? Oh, do you know yet? Still got two weeks training before they pass us out. I'll I'll tell you what, one night out with us and you'll get your diploma in half hour. (laughs) Yeah, mind you, you could lose your good conduct medal. Oh, no, I won't, mate. I'll keep it under lock and key. (laughs) How about uh, about us four going out tonight, then, eh? Oh, well, I don't know. We'll have to think it over. Come on, Joyce, let's get some plans. Oh, blimey, mate. I reckon we're flogging a dead horse there, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. That blonde bitch crazy about me. <laughs> Only she doesn't know it yet, that's all. Get out of the way. Right, pay attention now. Right, hang on. Official notice here from the office. Hang on, the Fuhrer talks. <laughs> Oi, Blakey. Uh, what the management done about this hooliganism thing on the Saturday night, you know? It's all up there on the notice, mate. The management, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that in view of the tax on the private person of the busman, they're going to be trying to defend themselves. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Yeah, what do you say, Jack? <laughs> hey, listen to this, fellas. All those wishing to avail themselves of a series of lessons in judo and karate should sign below. These will be given by a qualified expert. Who's that? That's me. <laughs> you! <laughs> you know, it just so happens, mate, I've made a deep study of the subject. I trained men in the army in unarmed combat. Well, you can leave me out, mate, because I don't believe in violence. Since when? Since last Saturday night when that lout kicked me up the gearbox. <laughs> My motto is make love, not war. Well, I tell you, it won't get me rolling about on our floor, break me neck. That's all right, mate. We're going to have a nice soft mattress down here, that's all right. You won't get none of the less to sign that, you know. That's a typical managerial trick, isn't it? Here, here. Let's have a cup right. of tea, Jack. Go on. Come on, Just a cup of tea, a cup of tea. Hey, those two birds are signing it. Yeah, well, uh, I think I'll shove me Monica down and all. I wouldn't mind rolling about on a mattress with them two. <laughs> hey, rolling about in a Boston cram. <laughs> no. Hey, no <laughs>
Well, come on, Ian. It's half past five. Where's the fighting inspector? The wizard of self-defence? He's late. <laughs> Probably got done up on his way here. Yeah. Well, give us a bit more time to chat up the birds, eh? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, it's, uh, it's got to be thirsty work, all this self-defence lot, so uh, what about coming out for a drink after this? Well, I mean, we don't know much about you two, do we? Oh, come <laughs> off. It stands the best bloke on the buses, hadn't you? Yeah. He always stops when requested. <laughs> Just stick your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> The only trouble is I can't see in the dark. Oh. <laughs> well, what about it then? Come on. Well, we'll think about it. Yeah. Oh, look, here comes the inspector. Oh, oh back time to. Get off that man. Hey, get off that man. Come on. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> get off. <laughs> we'll gather round now. We'll make a quick start. <laughs> He's got his pyjamas on. <laughs> Come on. All get round there. Nice big semicircle round here, please. Come on, sit down there. Sorry, love. Sit down there, please. No, I'll get out of the way. I'll All down on your ankles. Right. Nice and comfortable. And fair attention now. Now then. The quickest way of teaching, uh, teaching uh, self-defence is a method of karate known as atomai. What's that? That's Japanese, mate. Get out of it. It's showing off now. What do you mean? And how do you know? Well, I did tell you I made a deep study, study of this subject, mate. Where do you think I got that black belt from? You cut the suspenders off, didn't you? <laughs> no, he's got those on underneath. <laughs> now then. Now, I brought along a chart here to show you the more sensitive parts of the human body. Right? I've got copies of it over there on the table. You can all take one of them when you go and study them at your own convenience. Yeah, just a minute. Is that a man or a woman? <laughs> now, what... Possible difference can that make? Oh blimey, you've led a sheltered life, haven't you? <laughs> now pay attention. Now I want you to imagine that this is one of them ignorant louts coming at you on the late bus. Oh, that's daft. I mean, if he walked about like that, he'd be had up for indecent exposure. <laughs> Not that one wouldn't. He's got nothing to expose. <laughs> the basic theory of karate is that you apply the maximum pressure to any one of these sensitive points, right? The atomite. And you do this with the edge of your hand, known as the shuto, otherwise known as the chop, right? Otto! 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 <laughs> right. It's no use at all going like this or like this, right? Not unless you're swatting flies. <laughs> all get up and form a circle around the edge of the mat, will you? Oh, We're going to have a little demonstration now. Get in the circle, then. Everybody get in the circle. Butler, you come over here, mate. Who, me? What for? You're going to be the demonstration. Oh. Right then. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and make a chop with my shooto yeah. at your atomite. I'm going to try and find it, right? Yeah. Not if I find yours first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give you a light chop now yeah. on yeah. your carteroid artery. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. number five on the chart over there, right? Right, right, right. Oh, oh! Oh! No. <laughs> now, you see, I was holding myself back then. Otherwise, I might very easily kill my opponent. Unless, of course... Unless, of course, the temptation proves too much. <laughs> right. Now then, you have a try, right? Yeah. Now, imagine, imagine I'm one of them great big ignorant louts coming at you. Well, that's easy for a start. <laughs> well, Ready? Make a chop at my hat to my yeah. ear, 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 all there, right? Sensitive spots. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> right, I mean, it hurts. <laughs> That's because you're doing it all wrong, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Can anyone tell me what he's doing wrong? No. Nah. He's giving you something away with his eyes, mate. I can tell what you're going to do by your eyes. Yeah. And if they're bloodshot, he's done it. <laughs> now, nah, shut up, Jack. Just a minute. What did you mean by me giving me something away with my eyes, Gordon? Well, your eyes are looking straight at the place you're going to strike at every time. Oh. Can we have another go, then? All right. Right. You ready, then? Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, no. No, no. no wait. Did it? <laughs> no, that, that was cheating, mate. <laughs> he was looking in two places at the same time. That's a little trick I picked up snogging in the park. <laughs> yes, well, there's, uh, there's various other methods of self-defence, but I'll get to them presently. <laughs> now, in the meantime, I'd like to see what some of you others would do if you were attacked. Oi, oi, where are you off to then? Blimey, you have to put me hand up, mate. I've drunk a lot of tea waiting for you, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, well, we can't all wait till he comes back, can we? Now, in the meantime, I'd like to see what some of you young ladies would do if you were attacked. Can anyone like to uh, volunteer out of you? Like? Oh, thank you very much, miss. Very kind of you. Any, any fella like to come and... Yes? Yeah, I'll right? force myself, yeah. <laughs> Get out of it. Go on, I'll be here first. That's the right one. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do, miss, is trying to seek out for one of his sensitive points, right? Yeah, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Have a go at where you're shooting. Yeah, all right. Right! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready. That's... Don't! Come on! Yeah. No! 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 Oh. That's absolutely lovely. I couldn't have done better than that myself. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. She's a karate expert. Well, I've never done karate in my life, but I did do five years of judo. Only five years? Blimey, you were a quick learner. <laughs> That's not really much. Uh, fellas, I feel a lot better now. What's going on? What's happening? Well, uh, this young lady here has been very kindly showing us what she'd do if she was attacked. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I don't suppose you'd like to come and try and attack her, would you? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, look, love, look, I don't want to hurt you, OK? Oh, no, it's all right, it's all right. So if I do, you start yelling. I'll yeah, soon pack it right, in, right? right. I'll play the white man. Right. right. Now, what I want you to do yeah. is make a grab for her, right? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> I think we're all going to enjoy this. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm going to grab for you, love. Right. I'll tell you I'm coming. Here we go. Right. <laughs> go, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Now, now, this is a Japanese stranglehold. Now, it's very potent. Uh, apart from the choking effect, it could very easily break his opponent's neck with this. Now, now, miss, if he tried to hit or strike you in any way, a sharp quickening of the pressure is sufficient to stop him. Oh, God! Permanently. <laughs> oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Oh, that was a My Gary kick. My Gary Kiagri. <laughs> a sweeping ankle. Very nice, he does. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And that was a head there. A perfect head there. Oh, I, I have enjoyed that. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that. It's absolutely lovely. All right, then, we'll have a break for five minutes for tea now and we'll come back and have another go afterwards, right? Oh, bloody... Oh, blimey, Jack, what happened now, mate? Oh, it's all right, you didn't hurt her. Oh, good. <laughs> I've had enough of this, mate. I'm going out for a rest. I don't know about you. You coming? No, I still reckon we got a chance with those birds. You must be out of your mind, mate. We never take liberties with them. No, but with a bit of luck, they might take liberties with us. <laughs> oh, blimey, I haven't even got the strength for that, mate. Come on. Oh, where's my shoes? Over there. Right, here. Don't forget your chart. What chart? Oh, that chart, yeah. I'll see you later on then, Jack. Yeah. Sit <laughs> back here, Mum, look. Oh, I say. Oh, you have got a nasty bump there, love. Mm. Oh, I'll put a cold compress ah, on that. Sorry, I wouldn't bother about no, it. No, I much. will. It'll I'll put it off, on. Yeah. It'll be better for you. Oh, that's what you've done! Oh, God! Oh, 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 is it hurting? No, the cold water's run all down my back. Oh, oh I'm sorry, love. Evening, Old. Evening, Mum. What's up with you? You had that mob with the eyes on your bus again? No, he's been having a lesson in self-defence. <laughs> self-defence? You'd have been better off with the hooligans so only tore your trousers. <laughs> nah, we uh, had a lesson in karate. Our inspector's a bit of an expert at it. Oh. Look, Arthur, Stan brought home a chart on karate. Did you know I had 18 sensitive points on my body? <laughs> God, so I've ever noticed. Well, they're all marked there. A temi book. What a load of codswallop. That's not codswallop, mate. If you study that chart properly, Blimey, you could kill people. Yes, they made it easy. Like painting by numbers. <laughs> I'll see if some lout comes to you, give him a good punch up his number four. And if that don't work, you slash him in his number seven. And if that don't work, you knew him up his number nine. <laughs> then you have legs eleven, shout full house and bingo. <laughs> I really ought to study this chart. What nerf for? Well, you never know, Arthur. It might come in useful some nights. Aye. <laughs> well, I could defend myself if a man jumped out of the bushes at me on a dark night. Have to be a pretty dark night. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. Stan, stick up for your sister. Wouldn't have to be a dark night, would it? Not necessary. <laughs> the foggy one would do. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I didn't know was only joking enough. No. Does this really work? No, it's a load of twaddle. It's not twaddle. I'll show you, Olive. 
It's like what that bloke 007 done, you know, in the yeah. James Bond pictures, you know. Now, you put your thumb in there like that because it makes it tougher, is it, there? See? Yeah. That's called a shoot-o. You see? Now you go... Hustle! Oh. Come on, Mike. Right, they like that, isn't it, Mum, see? No, 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 that's what it's supposed to do. Put the wind up, you see? Now, these are little vital spots here, see? Yeah. Now, don't look at me like that, Arthur. You're always scoffing, aren't you? Come out here, love. Come here. Now, I'll show you what it is now. These are my two sensitive spots here, you see. Yeah. Now, you attack me there, now, see? Now, be right. careful, she might hurt you. No, no, no. The inspector taught me to parry all blows on how to stop everything. Uh, right, where you go, go on. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, I mean. Is it you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 He's dead right, isn't he? He does work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hello, Arthur. Hello, okay. uh, come for Stan. Is he expecting you? Uh, no, I've uh, fixed up a date for him. We're on to a good thing. A couple of little ravers. Oh. Uh, come in, darlings. Oh, this is uh, Stan's brother-in-law, Arthur, Joyce, Liz. Hello. How'd you do? They're very nice, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you'll find Stan in the kitchen. Yeah, all right. Shall be a minute, darlings. I'll for a look after you. Do you uh, live round here, do you? Uh, oh, Jack, like, what are you doing sitting there with your feet up having a kit? Come on, I've got the birds lined up. Come on, Stan. Oh, get out! Use your loaf, mate, will you? Look, look. What have you done to yourself? Oh, practising that judo. I fell awkwardly. I twisted my ankle and I... Dislocated my shoulder. Oh, is that all? Now, come on, I've got I've got the birds lined up. Joyce and Liz are outside. Come on. They're right, ready to go. You mean you've got me new now? Wait. Yeah. Oh, I've got to have a go at that. Oh, no, I've got to try. Right. Look at that. That's it. You find me. Oh, God almighty. No. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't oh, do it. come on, make the effort. Think of the birds. Look, with my ankle like that and my shoulder like this, the rest of me's no good anyway. <laughs> Hold on. That's that then. I'll just have to try and find some other bloke who's got the evening free. Oh. Well, well. Since you mention it, I wonder if... Uh, Arthur! Oh, you must oh. come down and get the washing in. My chill blades are playing me up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what was that you were saying, Arthur? <laughs> Nothing. I was uh, just having a dream. Come in, sunshine. Oh, well, better get going. I'll tell you all about it in the morning. Oh, I think I'll take the chart, just in case he's forgotten where my sensitive points are. <laughs> <laughs> oh!